Hi guys. Today I'm going to tell you about nested if statement. An if statement is one of the most popular instructions among the decision making statements in Excel. If statement gives the desired intelligence to a program so that it can take decisions based on the criteria and most importantly decide uh, the program flows. So an nested if statement is an if statement within an if statement. It's just like uh, you have a nest as an if statement and a lot of eggs another uh, if statement and nested if statement means pulling them in. For example, if we have an if statement as a condition, so if condition one, the true is one result, the false is another result. This is one statement. And we have another statement, which is that there's another condition and another result. So in a nested if statement, what we do is we pull it inside the previous statement and that's how it becomes a nested if statement so we have multiple conditions two or more conditions if statements in one um, if statement that is called a multiple uh, if statement or a nested if statement in office 2007 uh, uh, we could get only uh, seven if statements within an if statement like nested in uh, when one if statements uh, now uh, since the things are getting more complicated. So now Office 2010 onwards, for example, in Office 2013, we have increased uh, this volume to 64. So now we can use 64 multiple if statements within one if statement. So uh, by definition, uh, this nested if statement is an if, if statement that is working within another if statement and it's helping to make more complex and complicated decisions. So I would like to explain it in a very easy way. So let me demonstrate it. So let's take an example of a student who is just taking 40 uh, and then for example, 60 or, or let's maybe change it to 80 and then um, 95. So these are the different levels of scores. Of course, he's getting different titles accordingly. So for 40, he will get pass. For 80, he will get excellent. And at 95, he will get distinction of course. So let's write it down. Uh, but before that, let me make it a little bit bigger for you to make it more convenient to see. So the statement uh, I would like to write like is equal to if is the syntax. So is equal to if and then I will start the parenthesis. But before I start the parenthesis, this is here is a cell that I would like to, let's make it C5, which we would like to take as a logical test sample cell where we will put this test number. So C5, if it is equal to 40, let's say the first test, then the outcome should be, I will, I will say pass. And if, now another if within this if, um, again, the same cell C5, is equal to, for example, 80. Now the second logical test, uh, the outcome should be excellent. That's how we have our second if statement. Now let's talk about the third one. If, again, um, the cell sample is C5 is equal to 95, The outcome should be, what should it be? Correct, distinction. So now we'll have distinction as an outcome if the third condition is met. So now we will close all the if statements. False is the default uh, false or result. So the false result is there. Let's write down 40. So once we input 40, the first if statement is activated, pass. Yes. Let me make it a little bit bigger and odd for you guys so that you can see it uh, clearly. What is the result? So pass is the outcome that you can see when the first if statement is activated. To activate the second if statement, which is here, we have to have the input of 80. So let's put 80 over here. And there you go. Excellent is the result. So you see, the moment you activate the third one, 
it will show distinction but how will we activate it we'll put a 95 as an input there we go distinction so this is how you can pull in a lot of if statement within one if statement and you can see the results the third one is activated here distinction so guys that's how the nested if statement works like there is an if statement within an if statement and we can get multiple results out of the functionality i hope i made it easy for you guys to understand definitely if you give it a practice it will be easy for you to understand it and it will be easy for you to remember it i wish you all the luck and looking forward to see you again thank you bye bye